There you go, everybody. I'm really excited about the stuff. See how it's working on here. Like it's um, it's all gone sort of like a white powdery stuff. Now um, this was all this was full strength. Um, I've just been reading because I was watching my video and I because I find it hard to read the information on the bottle, but I can just read it. So you can dilute it um, like 10, 10 to one or twenty five to one or whatever um, to do panels as well or to do rust. Um, but this is cool. Like it's. Right, I scratch that from the finger. Well, that's coming back to just about the clean steel. That's impressive. I like this stuff. So it'd be interesting to see, like, I'll let that really cure up overnight and then I'll scuff it back tomorrow and see how that comes up. And I'll keep doing videos because, man, this stuff's impressive. Um, but anyway, I've mixed up a batch of um, one to one. I'll just put, you know, a reasonable splash of the stuff in there and then I'll put some, put a bit of water in it. Um, so I'm going to do this other guard in a guard and see what the difference is. Just see whether I get the same result because it might be enough to make it go further if you know what I mean. Um, even being one to one. Now if I can get it to go further with the same amount, I have a bit left over so if I'm doing any other bits and pieces. Even one to one might be enough just to make it go that bit further so I don't run out so I can get, it, get everything done. I was a little bit worried about that when I read that you can dilute it. Um, just like this, sweet, that's cool. But even like 10 to 1 or 20 wide ones are like a quite a big dilution. Um, like, okay, you're probably only using light steel, but 1 to 1 or something like that might be cleanly enough for me to do what I need to do. This will be interesting to see what this looks like in an hour, so because that's probably been like that for oh, it's probably good going on for almost two hours. I'm guessing, roughly, uh, might be only an hour and a half, but it's about that sort of time frame, getting towards two hours. Um, so yeah, this will be a good test to see the difference between the two tomorrow. See whether there is any difference. You know whether that's you know this does exactly the same as what that did. You know with only half the strength. Yeah. I'm really impressed with this stuff, man. Really impressed. Just what I've seen. Like, I've never seen... Well, I've never seen a product do that. I've seen it go black before, but not just keep working like that, you know? It's eating all that away. Um, so, yeah. I'd be interested in give that a good scuff up tomorrow and clean up and you know, just see what else is actually going on. Right, so that's that guard, that guard done. Just get that another brush over, make sure that is all in, the, in all the corners and bits and pieces. Right now, I gave this door a light DA sand before, just to, to a head itch on it. I'm just going to give this a brush over now, and just neutralize anything that's in there. Because um, this is the one that had those couple little Lots that keep coming up. But if we just give this a nice wee, a nice wee dose, and I'll do the same on the inside. I'll just move this. And again, I should be wearing bloody gloves, but I'm not. <laughs> um, so I'll get this one here. Give this a real good neutralize. Let's see how this works. the frame as well. I'll just do the outside of it first and then I'll when I tap it when I I'll do the inside of it as well. And clean around all the edges and stuff. But yeah, I might even do that boot look standing up there like that. Do this here too. What's going on here? Probably should blow this down but I don't think it'll matter much. Quite a lot of surface on that. I know that for sure. Let's 
Sorry if this is a bit boring me painting shit on. I can always edit it. <laughs> but yeah, it'd be really interesting to see how this all works. Because I want a nice clean surface for this paint. You know, I'll pause this and uh, finish this off and come back to you in a few. So, painted that, letting it do its thing, and um, this will be interesting. Obviously painted this before, and this was with sort of about one to one, one part this um, antiox and one part water, just to see what happens. Um, yeah, so it's here, it might be a, oh, yeah. it almost looks like it's chalking up quicker being slightly diluted. Um, hopefully it works. I still see a little bit of rusty stuff here. I might have to paint a little bit more on there. Um, what's this door doing? Oh yeah, it's biting in here. Biting in here hard. In here. Yeah, like you can see where like with it's been the whole trim hole's been welded up. With being the 66 there along here, not down here like on the 65. Um, only mainly saying that for Arco. See, he's got a couple 65 um, Puma Fury Coupes, which are basically the same as this Dodge Phoenix. Same thing, just different country. Right hand drive, left hand drive. Um, well, and then Dash is different, but it's only because it's out of a. Um, what are they out of a. Um, oh, I can't think. Dodge Polaris. Um, B body, C body, I should say. I painted all around in here, all, all across that back bit and up underneath. So I've done all that and around here. It's all still in here. And um, finished painting the rest of this door jam. And I'll go around on these arches another, and the top of these, not arches, down drip rails. Another good coat. Really get in there and bite into all that crap. Get it all real cleaned up. Oh, oh I painted the inside of this too with it. That's the inside of the. Oh, jeez, what do you call it? Scuffle, scuffle um, panel, whatever. Depending on. Might even go to the bumper or a, um, a quick paint. But this was getting real rusty where I'd been, would have done all the repairs on here and where did that. Let's pull that back real quick. It's even, even neutralised one to one. Pretty hard. <laughs> so yeah, I'm wrapped half hour with this stuff working. Just look like at the scene. So this is sort of the places you know you sort of worry about where it's double bent over and double skin, so hopefully that's getting there and neutralizing that and doesn't sort of react later on. So yeah. Show you down in there. So hopefully this stuff works good. So it'll be good if I can only just gotta come along here and I you know, sort of just scuff this all up um, with some sandpaper or DA sander, depending on what you know what you can get in there with. Um, and then just wipe it down with some, some wax and grease or some oh, what do you want to want to call it? Like some prep wash or something like that, you know. That'd be pretty nice, bud. So yeah, it'd be good if I've only got to do that and then start. Um, each prime and, and start filling, or epoxy prime, whatever you want to call it. So oh, awesome. Alright, guys, catch you later on. It's another wee quick wee shot. It's now that I've just walked back in here, this is at another couple of minutes while we're videoing. It's really oxidising up too, white. So I reckon it's actually working faster diluted um, than it was full strength. Sort of seeing where it's been welded and stuff like that, where it's talking into these areas quicker and faster by the looks of it, and it's drying out faster. So that's nice dry. Maybe that might be the trick to it. I might put a part two up today, maybe even. I'll see. I might wait till tomorrow once we've cleaned all this back again, let it dry up. And but yeah, this is wicked, this stuff's working wicked. 
can't wait to get some bloody primer on this. Um, I'll probably do parts of this again because I'm, I'm coming along here and I'll weld all these holes up. But I just want to get this all cleaned up. You know, um, I won't worry about welding these up because this is for the, um, what do you call it? It's where the wiring goes across. Um, whether I put it back in the original spot or not, I don't know. But I weld, I weld these screw holes up with a pitch that's screwed on here, over here, and everywhere. Um, this one's not quite so bad. But yeah, oh, I'm looking, looking forward to getting this done. Now that I know this is, the, you know, the rust's not gonna, shouldn't come back. Cool. Catch you later. There you go, guys. A bit more of an update. So I'm just still painting inside these doors with um, rust converter and outside. I've, this is the one of the last ones I stripped, so I hadn't put anything back on it. So I've just done all this one. Let it go for it. Go for it and get, all, get it all neutralised. Um, um, it's a full back guard now. I just scuffed all that back before. I've done all that. So it's all neutralised now. So I'm gonna, well, I've done that, um, what do you see, pillar. So I'm just actually gonna um, get something I can stand up on here and I'm gonna do this side of the roof and then go around and do the other side of the roof. And that'll the back guard. And um, yeah, and then that's. No, I only got the other piece I could do across there and then maybe just do other little clean up pieces later on and one day one one time when I get this floor floor a bit more cleaned up, I'll paint the worst spots in there too. With the coat with that stuff. Um, so yeah, well I've just just gotta um, DA this back, get that cleaned up and wipe the rest of the side of the roof and that bit and that's the shell basically done. Um, so I've sort of redone parts of this before. Um, I'll scuff some of this back a bit better too and do some more of this. But it'll be actually interesting to see because I've actually done it through the through the paint <laughs> boat that was here. But I'll have to scuff this back before I paint it. But I sort of just painted on there just to see what would happen, whether it would actually go through that or not, and clean up some of the light stuff that was on that was sort of poking through. But yeah, I love how this stuff's working. So yeah, hopefully over the course of the weekend I can get this all cleaned back off with, um, you know, just sanding and uh, maybe, the, you know, run a wire wheel over the more awkward spots to get into um, and get it all scuffed back and then we'll etch and um, then I'll blow a coat of primer, run all the door shuts and stuff like that and then around here stuff that's not going to need too much work, if you know what I mean. Get a couple of good coats of primer in here, and then um, yeah, I'll just edge the rest of it, and then we'll start body filling. Start smoothing this baby out. So hopefully, yeah, hopefully over the next couple of weeks, as long as I can keep some some cash flow going for bits and pieces I need, um, yeah, we'll be we'll be into it. So you can even see like the difference in the colour of the steel. Just even painting it up under there, which is where I've sort of brushed up onto it. Look at this, it's just, this thing's going to be magic clean. Such a yeah, awesome stuff. Especially when it's easy to work with. Um, yeah, I could probably should be wearing gloves and stuff like that. You know, just protect yourself a bit, because it, you can sort of feel it. Um, making your fingers soapy and get a little bit on you. But I'll just keep rinsing my hands underneath a bit of water every now and again. Um, I'll probably have to clean the t-shirt because there's a few it's bleached it, a few spots but should be right. <laughs> well good, we'll get into it. <laughs> 